Greetings everyone, this is Rock from Spot Connection. And well, today we'll be talking about Marvel or Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Again. So you may recall this summer I had a, did a video with my guesses as to what, what was gonna what would we would see movie wise in the MCU and about when we would see it. And Since then, we've had a few release date confirmations, as well as additional release dates thrown on the, thrown into the list. So, here are, in some cases, confirmed release dates. Some slight little, you know, move what the, you know, maybe some some uh, slight predictions about some of them when it comes to Phase Four of the MCU. So, May first of next year, we get Black Widow, which is supposed to be a prequel. Um, like I mentioned, like I said previously, I think this is honestly going to somewhat involve um, Budapest, which uh, the mission from Budapest that uh, her and Hawkeye were both on, leading to the the which you know due to that line and in. Avengers, this is just like Budapest. You and I remember Budapest very differently. Okay, so then, November 6th of next year, we get Eternals, which is being billed as, well, Game of Thrones in space. And he's even got a Game of Thrones cast member. Kit Harrington will be playing, will be playing Black Knight. Um, I think it's... Is, if they're not turning him into one into one of the Eternals, then they're going to have. I would presume he's going to be kind of the, um, uh, the focal character. You know, th this is the point of view character. This is this is the character you're supposed to at least somewhat identify with. He. This is who's. This is the eyes you, the viewers, are seeing the story through. Then February twelfth, twenty twenty one, we've got Shang Chi. Followed by Doctor Strange and the, and the Multiverse of Madness in May, on May 7th, 2021. Um, supposedly, if I, remember, if I remember correctly, I think uh, it, it's at least rumored that, I, I think it's been rumored that the Mandarin will be utilized, at least. The actual Mandarin will be utilized, and the Ten Rings will be utilized through the Shang Chi movies. Uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is being said is said to be a horror movie, um, and, it, and Elizabeth Olsen will be a will be in it and have a larger role in the movie. Um, there, are, I I think I saw. I may have seen the headline. I may not have. It may have just been someone's guess that Tom Hiddleston might also be in it. So we'll but we'll see. Um, then we, July 16th, 2021, we got Spider-Man 3, which is just referred to right now as Spider-Man 3. There is no, uh, subtitle set for it. All that's confirmed, all that we know for certain is it's a Spider-Man movie. It's being handled both by Sony and Marvel Studios, and Tom Holland is returning as Tom Holland, Zendaya, so on and so forth. You know, retur returning cast member, uh, re major cast members will be returning. Um, then on November fifth, twenty twenty one, we've got Thor: Love and Thunder, which will feature, which will of course have Chris Hemsworth back, but also feature uh, Natalie Portman's return as Jane Foster, who will be taking on the mantle of Thor as well. Uh, and it's also be uh, at least directed. At least directed by, but also written by Taika Waititi. Then, now we jump in this largely into speculation. There's still one more confirmed release date, but it's not the next release after Love and Thunder. So the next release date after Love and Thunder is February eighteenth, twenty twenty-two. Okay, this is an outside guess. This is based on this is kind of based on a few things picked up here and there. But I'm get, my guess is that Deadpool 3 will be coming out through Marvel Studios on February 18th, 2022. Like I said, this is just a guess. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I will admit it openly. If I'm right, cool, I'm right. But um, 
Deadpool 3 has been confirmed to be happening. Um, and it should also be our, it should continue the trend of, you know, the R-rated uh, Deadpool movies. Um, Ryan Reynolds will be returning to, will be reprising the role. Um, and it, it suppose, Deadpool 3 is supposed to be starting per, at least going into uh, he's either in the early stages of pre-production or is supposed to begin production soonish. So next up on well, May 6th of 2022 this is our last confirmed release date we've got Black Panther 2. Um, this is another one where not much is known. There is a there have been rumors and suggestions floating around that uh, Black Panther Two might be uh, how the MCU introduces Namor the Submariner, um, building off of the undersea earthquake mentioned in Avengers Endgame. That that happened in Atlantis, and also um, there was in the in back, way back in Iron Man Two. There's a hologram showing various threats throughout the world, and one of them is in the middle of the ocean. And so that could very well hint to it, allude to Atlantis. Um, because to be perfectly honest, the only Black Panther villains I really know are Claw, who is dead now, Killmonger, who is also dead, and Mbaku, who is... Who is that? who in the MCU is a slightly antagonistic ally, um, but still more ally than enemy. So yeah, um, that would be my guess, is that, is that the villain will be Namor Atlantis. Next up, um, on, on July 29th, 2022, we... Again, now uh, we're back to the speculation. Ant Man three, or um, this is another one. Where I have no idea where they're going to go with it. Maybe we'll uh, get an maybe we'll get an introduction of uh, to Scott Scott Lang's daughter at becoming Stasher. Um, for those unaware, um, in Comics, Cassie Lang, after her father's death, well, first off, it turned out before, even before his death, she was siphoning pin particles from him, or from it. he had a supply of pin particles which she was siphoning, and she has size changing powers because of this, so she can grow or shrink, and she took the name Stature and was a founding member of the Young Avengers. Um, she was one of the few people to actually be on both end up on both sides of Civil War. She started off siding with Captain America. However, after um, the android clone of Thor Ragnarok killed Bill Foster, she and a few others, including Cable, I might add, actually said, okay, you know what, yeah, we're not doing this. Uh, we can't win against that, so we're going to go and just, and just sign the paperwork. Though, to be fair, I think Cable was, was already registered because of a lot of dialogue stating that all mutants were, all re were, in were registered right off the bat due to uh, the effects of, due to some things that happened during the decimation stories. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I have no idea what, what they would do when it comes to the story. I mean, hell, they used an Iron Man villain for um, Ant Man and the Wasp. Ghost is a Long-standing enemy of Iron Man, not, um, mm, excuse me, not Ant-Man. Then, uh, the next release date is October set, October 7th of 2022. And, uh, my guess here is that, um, that's when we're going to see Mar the, uh, Marshall Ali, uh, led Blade film. And it makes sense to me that Marvel Studios say, hey, let's grab an October release date because we've got a care we, we will be doing a, a a movie that is very decidedly a horror that is very decidedly you know horror themed. So yeah. And it'll be one of those you know, and, but it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be a 
big, huge release that we, you know, we could build a year around. But you know, October is a good, a good point to have a, a movie about a half vampire, vampire hunter. All right, moving on to 2023. Yeah, they got release dates through 2023. February 17th. Uh, best guess here, Captain Marvel 2. Um, as I recall, it there has been uh, some talk about Captain Marvel 2 continuing the prequel route, basically, with, uh, with Captain Marvel. With this being... Um, covering some of the top... Some of the stuff that happened when she was in space, so we we might end up with some loose adaptations of a, more than a few of the um, uh, who's what's um, Marvel cosmic stories. Uh, best guess, uh, I don't know, maybe Operation Galactic, something similar. Something reminiscent of Operation Galactic Storm, or maybe Maximum Security, um, or who knows? It, just take bits and pieces from various cosmic stories. Next up on the list is May fifth, twenty twenty three. Now, this is my uh, this again. Just a guess. I'm gonna say that that's probably when they're gonna be putting out New Avengers. And I do. I think they actually will call the movie New Avengers. Villain wise, I think we're going to end up with a, but uh, with the Thunderbolts. Um, it's already been stated that. Uh, um, oh, God. Zemo is good. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's been stated that Zemo will be back in. Captain America, or in uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. One of, one of the various plans that Baron Zemo had over the years was to create a team of heroes, become beloved by the masses, and then use the fact they were beloved by the masses to take over the world. This team, this was called the Thunderbolts Gambit. And Zemo, along with a handful of other uh, members of, of the Masters of Evil, they created brand new uh, superhero identities that worked with their current power set. And they came together as... When, at, they debuted after Onslaught, when it was believed that the Avengers were, were dead, for the most part. Um... Zemo himself was, in fact, Citizen V. Um, now, this is actually something they, could, they could probably set up over the course of the uh, of the phase, especially with the with the various Disney Plus shows. That you can make small hints here and there, have one or two of them sh actually show up, even, and. You know, kind of, and do it in such a manner that, yeah, fan, comic readers are gonna say, oh, oh, they're they're totally with the Thunderbolts. That's so cool. And movie goes, oh, hey, cool. Uh, uh, like, wow, another team. What's with then? You know, like the end of the first act of New Avengers, we get the reveal that oh, they're not good guys. They're really bad guys. Um, anyway, so moving on, we've got July 28th, 2023. Um, I'm guessing Guardians 3 there because... Now, I initially put... My initial thought was that Guardians 3 would be the July 2022 release. But the more I thought about it, the more I figured, yeah, um, it's going to take some time for... James Gunn is, is working on the Suicide Squad, which... As I recall, comes out in 2021. So, yeah. So he's got... He, there, he's... And he's going to have that out, done and out before he starts working on Guardians 3. So, yeah, it's probably going to be at the earliest 2022 that we see Guardians 3. And even then, I think... 2023 is much more likely, just to make sure it's got the time to breathe. And finally, for November 3rd, 2023, 
this and presumably this would cap off phase four. And I think this is the perfect way to cap off phase four. Fantastic four. Bring, basically bring the uh, the FF back into or well into the MCU. Introduce them. Um, And with what, with prior um, November releases from Marvel Studios, it would work fairly well, keeping in line with them. Um, namely, just helps. This is around. This would be coming out around the same time that Thor Ragnarok came out in 2017. Um, and note that I also, you know, which would and this would also be around the same time that uh, Love and Thunder is coming out in. Uh, 2021. So, yeah, I, I think there's a good chance that, you know, that's going to kind of be a, a way of pointing out your light, more lighthearted fare. Another, and yeah, I could possibly see that being swapped out with Ant Man 3, or hey, who knows, maybe something else entirely. But, um, I have no idea who they would, could, who they're going to, who they would cast as the, as the FF. How they did the origin, all that. Um, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll find out. We'll hear something soon on that. Um, also, I, I imagine that um, all these unconfirmed dates, the, the bulk of 2022 and the entire 2023, the yes, seven unconfirmed. The seven dates that are picked out but don't have a movie attached to them yet, I'm fairly certain that by the beginning of 2022, we'll know what all of them are. Um, so it's probably going to be a good long while before I can actually say, hey, so remember this? Yeah, well, this is the thing now. Well, who, but who knows? They, they might end up giving us a, a breakdown next year at Comic-Con. Either way, it's not going to be the kind of thing where I, I'm going to know exactly what it is a month, you know, in a month. So, anyway, that is, uh, that's it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. Hit the bell icon to be notified, notified when I put new content. And as always, this is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.